Okay, now that we have our um, hero dropped onto the center of the stage, it's time to um, be able to move the hero with our arrow keys on our keyboard. So we're going to show how to f uh, program that functionality next. Okay, so I'll close this window and I'll open up my actions window. All right, and I wanted to show you something here. If you click on this button on the side, you can have access um, to the documentation for ActionScript. So if I open up ActionScript 2 classes and I go to uh, Movie and then I go to Movie Clip, you'll find that a lot of the stuff that we use is right in there, right in this Movie Clip um, area. And um, you can see here methods, which are built-in functions to ActionScript, properties that the different Movie Clips can take on, like, um, for instance, um, the X underscore X property on the stage or its scale or width or all these different properties are in here. Uh, also event handlers which we're going to be using right now. Uh, we're going to use the on enter frame handler here in a second. So anyway, here's the code to um, create the hero that uh, attaches uh, the hero from the library with its uh, linkage name from the library. It gives it the new name hero. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say on the next line here, I'll just move this over. We're going to say hero, right? We can address it. It's a movie clip now that's been attached to the stage with a new name hero. So we can uh, script right to it by just calling it out. Hero dot, and we're going to use the on capital E enter capital F for frame, the on enter frame handler, which will execute code repeatedly based on the frame rate of the movie. So if the movie's running 20 frames per second, whatever happens here will um, happen also 20 times per second. And we're going to say hero.onEnterFrame and we're going to say um, equals a function that we're going to write. So what I'll do is I'll say equals hero enter frame, which is a, um, and I need to put an O there, which is a function that I've yet to write, but I'm going to write that function. Okay, so I'm going to say hero on enter frame execute this function hero enter frame multiple times per second, whatever based on whatever the frame rate of the movie is. It could be 30 frames per second, 20 frames per second, 12 frames per second, whatever you want. Okay, and so now I need to write that function. So I'm going to go outside of this function, two lines down, let's say past the curly brace that ends this function and I'll say function hero enter frame right open and close parentheses then I'll say open curly brace and two lines down backspace and close curly brace and this is where I'll put my code and I'll say I'm going to start with a conditional statement so that's an if and then an argument in parentheses and then a um, open curly brace and a closed curly brace. And if you want, you could put the curly brace on the next line. That's up to you. And I'm going to say if the key class, capital K, key dot is down, okay, and 38 is the key that we're going to use right now to um, move the character up. That's the up arrow key. And I'll tell you how you can find out what keys are related to what numbers in a minute. So key of, is down 38 and I'll say hero dot underscore the Y property on the stage minus equal meaning subtract six pixels. Okay? And if I do that and I hit control enter now we'll see what happens here got an error on our code uh, missing something here look at that tells me what I'm missing line 22 close parentheses so go back to the code take a look at where is my problem here okay um, I'm gonna put this back over here just for if Let's see here. Okay, close. Well, I don't see it. I'm not quite seeing it. 
All right, let's see here one more time. Close that. Line 20. All right, maybe I should just follow my own advice here. Line 20. Ah, right here. Here's the problem. If you can see here on this if statement, I've got an open parentheses, and then I've got key 38 in parentheses. I need another parentheses to close that off. And now I'll be good. And then I have the character. If I click the up arrow, the character moves up. So now all I have to do is put in the code to have the character move in the different directions. And to do that, well, I'll do that, and then I'll show it to you. What I can do is I can just copy this, all right? And I'll say, paste, paste, paste. All right, and then I'm going to, in front of each if, I'll say, I'll put an else and a space else and I'll also put an else a space else if and then the keys that are going to be needed are for this one 40 37 and 39 and with the 40 we will add y which will move him down that's the down arrow key is 40 and so we'll add to the y um, property of the character which will move him down the screen and then for this one it's going to we're going to switch to switch this to the x property and that'll be minus 6 and then for this will be the x property and plus equal six and so there it is and now if i hit control enter i can move the character up to the left to the right and down okay i'm going to click on the background and change the frame rate to 30 frames per second and then see if that smooths up the motion a bit and it does it makes the motion a bit smoother a little bit faster and I like that okay before we're done with this bit of code right here I also want to control the bounds of my character because right now if I do this he can walk right off the stage right so I can have him walk right past the boundaries of the movie and I don't want him to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the variables that I put in here top bound bottom bound right bound left bound to control his movement so this if statement if key is down 38 moves the character up because it subtracts from the Y property so right after we uh, move the character up we're gonna do another test conditional statement to test to see if he's left the screen or not so what we'll do is we'll say if and then it's open and closed parentheses and we'll say if hero dot underscore y right is less than or equal to top and this is going to have to be all caps top bound okay if hero is less than or equal to top bound and then I'll put an open curly brace two lines down close curly brace then we'll say hero dot underscore y equals top bound so and then I'll put a semicolon here to end that line so we say if the hero's y position is less than going above the top boundary put him back to the top boundary set his y property equal to the top boundary and that should control his movement so now we can test it out by hitting control enter and we can move the character up and we'll see that as soon as he gets to the top bound area he can go no farther because as soon as he gets less than it changes it back to the boundary um, number and now all we have to do is put those if statements for copy this if statement control C to copy 
and I'll paste it here. And this one will be the bottom bound. And bottom bound. And it's going to be if it's greater than or equal to the bottom bound. And then we can test that out. Move them down. And you can see that stops them there. And then we put it in for the rest. So just copy that. Control C. Go to the next area. Paste it. And this is minus the X property, meaning move to the left. Minus taking away numbers from the X property moves the character to the left. So this is the left bound, the left boundary, and it's going to be the X property, not the Y, X property, and if it's less than. And we'll just copy that one more time and paste that here. And this will be the right and this will be a greater than sign and then we can test it out and see that he stops there and he stops there stops there and stops at the top and now we've controlled his movement.